So in the first stage of your open source development, I do believe that you should not do open source. It does not matter if you pushed into Babel or Microsoft or anything. What matters is what you did, right? What you pushed. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just discuss a bit about open source. Should you be doing it? When you need to do it? And is it worth it? Let's go. This video is a part of CodeDamn's t-shirt giveaway program for the month. If you want to take part and win an amazing CodeDamn t-shirt, all you have to do is leave Leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it you are eligible if your comment gets a heart from codedam you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free so the crux of the story is you should not be doing open source development as a beginner and let me tell you why i feel like that as a beginner when you're starting off with new technologies the first thing you need is a vision is a broad field of vision that what all is possible what needs to be done in front end and back end maybe a little bit in databases and you don't need to go into depth or you know greatness of if any single code base, right? For example, I, when I was learning development, I, I did not start to learn full stack development. That happened because I needed that. But when I was starting off, I would create small projects. I would create small projects of my own, push them on GitHub, would definitely share my link, but trust me, that is not open source development. What open source development really means is that you contribute to some big open source projects. Now that project could be yours, which to be honest, is unlikely if you're just getting started that your project gets so popular that you actually have a tons of issues and people recommending and doing all that stuff. That is not the story. The story usually is that you will push it to your GitHub repo and would get zero stars, maybe one star. Somebody would fork it and maybe send one PR, but that's it. That's the state of most of the projects on the internet. So what do I mean by open source development is that you are contributing to some medium to large size projects. And as a beginner, if you try to go ahead and do any sort of meaningful code related work, not saying about documentation or simple patches or anything, anything which requires meaningful code related work would need you to actually go through and understand the code base till a certain extent, not 100%, but till a certain extent and till a very good extent. And as a beginner, you want to first of all, get a broader vision of what all is possible and then see what all technologies you can plug in together. So if you're anyone who is not even comfortable in creating your own projects, right now and posting them on github don't even think about contributing to big open source projects that is in my opinion right because even if you were able to do that you would just understand a piece of software development right and frankly that probably is an opposite advice to what you would get if you are going in a company because that is where you have to get accustomed to their own source code and how things are working and so on but I'm talking about your own learning as a developer. I'm not talking about the part where you earn money by working in a company or, you know, even on some open source project. It's more about how you personally evolve as a developer. So in the first stage of your open source development, I do believe that you should not do open source. So this should be closed source. That is where you develop your own projects you push it on GitHub, it's fine. I mean, don't get me wrong about the definition of open source. I'm saying open source means that you're working on some big projects or medium to big size projects. That is what I mean in this video context. Then once you publish it, once you're learning, you learn about different technologies, you learn about, you see other people's code indirectly. For example, you are creating dashboard app, right? Go ahead and clone, I would say five, 10, 15 GitHub repo projects. Go ahead and do that. You can do that, right? But make sure these projects are good. Make sure you're able to take out some components, something which you can understand, but do it on your own because you have to be selfish in the first few months of your learning, right? Once you figure out what the deal is, what these small files, package.json, npm, these toolings are, once you have learned this part, then you should try to go ahead and search for some open source project. And again, the way you find this, what I have found helpful is that go ahead and start with the least, the least popular library in your own package.json, right? So go, go into your package.json and pick up any sort of projects or all projects which you have built so far and see which is the least popular project which you have worked or used in your own project. When you do that, it will be beneficial for you because you already know more or less 
you know what the software does so you might have some ideas where you can improve it as well plus the reason I'm saying least popular because chances are this would be least complicated as well, right? You would not really want to go ahead and start contributing into React repository. You would not want to go ahead and start contributing into Babel repository. You can, but you would be solving more or less the documentation issues or simple issues and just getting that, you know, acknowledgement from GitHub that you pushed the change into this repository. Trust me, that, that's all kiddish. You don't really need that as a developer. It does not matter if you pushed into Babel or Microsoft or anything. What matters is what you did, right? What you pushed. So in my opinion, you should start with your own selfish learning. Learn from different resources, build your own project. Learn from different people's source code, but don't start preaching. Don't start telling people what to do or you know, pushing that PR and doing this and that, that's fine. That comes at a later stage, right? Be selfish first, learn all the stuff, then participate in open source. And how you do that, you can pretty much pick any package, but if you don't have a framework, go look for the least popular package in your package.json, go to that repository, see if there are any good first issues, try to cover them, try to come up with some more issues if you can. Otherwise, you know, package.json is a, I mean, it's a, it's a treasure mine of, all the awesome packages you can think of, right? But yeah, I mean, this is this is a solid approach to starting off as an open source developer. There are a lot of benefits when you start working as an open source developer, when you start working on open source developer, without you even wanting, you would be exposed to a lot of good practices. For example, one I can think of right off my mind is like not storing your secrets in your code, right? GitHub will yell at you, people will yell at you, your pull request would be, you know, not merged and so on if you're doing any sort of bad practices. Second of all, if you're pushing to a project which has good active maintainers, they pretty much will either accept your push pull request or they would teach you a lesson, which I mean is a win-win for you anyway, right? And third, I mean, you just you're just actually working in real world scenario, right? Because open source, I mean it's fine, but even in companies, you can say among the developers, your code is open source, right? Even if the company runs a closed source software, but you will be sharing that code base, those issues, those pull requests, those reviews from other developers, right? So you would be even learning about how to operate in companies, right? Open source is a little boundaryless, so that's fine, I mean, but more or less the experience would be same when you're working on mid-size to large-size projects, right? Don't consider working on your own projects, that's I mean, again, this is a statement with a huge star, your own projects, which you will not be, you know, maintaining over the time, right? If they're just a tic-tac-toe game or a login form, that's fine. That's not open source. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you just pushing that and calling you did some open source development. That's not. The best way is to work on someone else's project, or if you're very keen or very curious, you should create a utility project on your own, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you understood my perspective of what open source development should be, when you should do it, and what it takes to become a good open source developer. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. That is all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon.